So our next topic of the day, guys, could be talking about Logan Paul, a guy who I haven't talked about really on my YouTube channel, and I definitely want to because this is a guy who had a significant you know, rise and then a big time fall and then a resurgence on YouTube and just on social media and all of those different platforms has really made a name for himself. And I want to talk about kind of like what happened and where he is now. And so that being said, an article that was written by Paige Leskin from Business Insider, how Logan Paul went from making videos in his backyard to becoming a 24 year old millionaire and one of the most controversial stars on YouTube. The past few years have been a roller coaster ride for Logan Paul. The 24 year old social media star built a career off the now defunct Vine app and later off of two simultaneous YouTube channels. His Midwestern good looks, slapstick humor, and intricately planned and executed viral videos have earned him millions of dollars and legions of diehard fans. But Paul has become embroiled, embroiled in multiple controversies in the last two years, costing him advertising on YouTube and a movie deal with YouTube Red. Here's how Paul went from a 10 year old making homemade videos in his backyard in Ohio to one of the most famous and controversial social media stars in the world. First of all, he's from Ohio. Uh, I'm from Ohio as well. And that's absolutely just awesome that he's, you know, from Ohio. I thought that was like really cool. A lot of really big, you know, YouTubers and just creators and uh, people, especially even in the esports realm, came from Ohio, like in the Columbus area and things. So pretty awesome stuff. All right. So there's like a number of things here. So you've got he, that he transitioned. So Paul got his start at age 10 posting videos to the internet using an app called Zoosh. By high school, Paul transitioned to now defunct video sharing app Vine, which by the way, guys, I need to make a video about what happened to Vine because man, Vine was really awesome. And now you've got, you know, different other, you know, uh, apps out there that kind of took its its glory, that being like TikTok and, uh, you know, uh, the Byte app, I think it's called, you know, they're all kind of stealing that glory that Vine started. Well, anyway, Logan Paul was one of the people who kind of came up with Vine and was one of the biggest people there. Um, and so he did stunts, he told jokes, played pranks, and then Paul amassed a huge following on the platform. By the time Vine shut down, he had 9.4 million followers. Thanks to his success on Vine, Paul was able to transition to other social media apps like Facebook and Instagram. Advertisers came calling and Paul began earning hundreds of thousands of dollars in advertising revenue for sponsored posts. Then Paul dropped out of Ohio University and moved to Los Angeles in 2014 to pursue a career in entertainment. I went to Ohio University as well, so totally, uh, you know, I, I kind of dropped out as well of, at, uh, of college just in general, which is another conversation for another day. But he did the same kind of thing. He pursued a career in entertainment in Los Angeles. He began taking act, acting classes and snagged a few small roles in TV shows like Law and & Order and Stitchers. He told Business Insider in 2015 that he hoped to become a household name and appear in R-rated movies. It's time for me to grow up and expand my brand of comedy, Paul said. I want to be the biggest entertainer in the world, Paul said at the time. That's my deal. I'll do whatever it takes to get that as many hours as is needed. Paul began posting videos to YouTube and now runs two channels, an official channel and a Logan Paul Vlogs channel, which have about 5.3 million and 19.7 million subscribers, respectively. Then Paul's YouTube channel, uh, Paul's YouTube channels bring in a lot of money for the star. In 2017, Paul made $12.5 million. Paul has also started doing his own ad campaigns. He was the face of Dunkin' Donuts. His first social media star campaign appeared in a Hanes ad and partnered with Pepsi. And then Paul's younger brother, Jake, also got his start on Vine and has gained fame on other platforms. So both of them, the Paul brothers really have, they've gained so much fame. It's like unbelievable. And then Jake has nearly 20 million subscri YouTube subscribers, but has also been embroiled in controversy. In 2017, he was accused by his neighbors of turning his neighborhood into a war zone and subsequently left his show on Disney Channel. Most recently, Jake Paul got married to fellow YouTuber Tana Mongu. Logan Paul was in attendance and has since made comments hedging that the relationship between the two is fake. Logan Paul, by contrast, 
remain relatively scandal-free until 2017. In June of that year, Paul appeared at VidCon, a popular convention for teens, to see their favorite online creators. Paul hid $3,000 in a secret location and was mobbed by screaming fans and was filmed being tackled to the ground by security guards. Then in September, old tweets were unearthed in which Paul perpetuated racist stereotypes about black and Asian men. Soon after, another scandal hit in 2017 of December, Paul posted a video of him and his friends discovering a body in Japan's so-called suicide forest. And this, guys, was really where his fall was. I mean, it was kind of even, it was kind of building up to this, but then it just went too far. He obviously went too far and this, the, the suicide forest is really where it was just, it was really messed up, a really messed up video. And this really tarnished his reputation. I think even to this day in the video, Paul and his friends were planning to camp in the forest overnight, but stumbled upon a corpse hanging from a tree. Paul blurred the face of the body, but he and his friends stood around the corpse and filmed it before leaving the forest. Outrage over the video was swift and nearly 200,000 people signed a petition to have Paul kicked off YouTube. He was removed from Google's preferred ads program and planned YouTube Red movie deal was suspended. Soon after, Paul issued an apology for posting the video. I've never made a mistake like this before. Paul wrote on Twitter, he announced he was stepping away from posting on YouTube and taking time to reflect. And then, by the end of January, Paul was back on YouTube with a documentary about suicide survivors. From this point on, I want to make an effort to contribute and immerse myself in the conversation. So I'm pledging to donate $1 million to various suicide prevention organizations, Paul said. But only a few weeks later, Paul made another misstep when he posted footage of himself tasering two dead rats. YouTube temporarily suspended ads on videos made by Paul citing his recent pattern of behavior, but then were reinstated uh, by February, which I'm actually, you know, honestly, YouTube was kind of put into a bad spot because of where, like what Logan Paul was doing at this point. Because at one end, you kind of look at it from the business perspective. It's like, okay, well, we don't want to lose Logan Paul. Like we don't want him to go to some other platform or something like that. We want him to create content here, but it's just trying to get him to stop having this type of behavior. And so it's kind of like a fine line that you really have to balance yourself on between business and what's right and wrong. And so many big YouTubers took to social media to criticize Paul with some calling for YouTube to kick him off. However, YouTube CEO Susan uh, Wojcicki said that Paul had violated policies enough times to get terminated and that suspending his ad revenue was actually a pretty strong statement. In light of the incident, Paul saw his views and new subscriber numbers tank. Between December 2017 and March 2018, Social Blade statistics showed a 47 percent drop off in views and an 80% slowdown in subscribers. The controversy also cost Paul an estimated $5 million worth of business deals. Just a month later, a model who appeared in a Paul music video for No Handlebar spoke out about her experience filming with the YouTuber. The model, Eliza Johnson, said that she felt kind of abused and felt she was treated differently as the only plus size model at the video shoot. During the first half of 2018, Paul drummed up interest for a fight between a uh, fight against fellow YouTuber KSI. The fight between the YouTube stars ended in a draw, but brought in an estimated $11 million in revenue between in-person tickets and a pay-per-view live stream. News emerged in July that Jake that that Paul was dating actress Chloe Bennett, who stars in the TV show Agents of Shield. However, the two reportedly split up in October of 2018. So as you guys can see, we're talking where he was just growing and growing and growing. And then he took it too far. And then of course, with the suicide force, I think that's where the real downfall happened for him, even though it was kind of building up to that point. And then what happened was ever since he got into the boxing, you know, the arena with KSI, it's like his, his career has taken another turn and we'll get to kind of where it's, you know, the, the potential is for Jay, uh, for, you know, Logan and even Jake Paul at this point. Almost a year after Paul posted the, the Japan Suicide Force video, YouTube released an original movie called The Thinning New World Order, starring the controversial star. YouTube defended the movie as a collaborative effort that was released in fairness to fans and other members. 
Near the end of 2018, Paul launched his podcast, Impulsive, where he interviews and chats with friends and fellow YouTubers. The show recently celebrated its 100th episode. But it took no time at all for his comments on the podcast to turn controversial. In an early episode, Paul said that he was planning to go, we're not going to say it on here, guys, but for a month for Male Only March, which was criticized for forwarding the view that sexuality is a choice or phase. He later apologized for his poor choice of words. Paul was filmed in May practicing and training for a slapping competition taking place in Russia. In a video posted on Twitter, Paul is shown slapping a man so hard that he falls down seemingly unconscious. Paul later said he pulled out of the competition to preserve the health and wellness of everyone competing. Paul re-entered the spotlight in July when he gave a bizarre interview on Fox Business. Paul claimed on TV that he had graduated to become an ex-controversial YouTuber and shared that his expenses surpassed his income recently. And then Paul held a track and field tournament in July for YouTubers and video creators called the Challenger Games, where he bet $100,000 that he was the fastest YouTuber on the planet. However, during the race, Paul pulled his hamstring and had to be helped off the track. And then the latest estimate of Paul's wealth puts his income at $14.5 million between June 2017 and June 2018. Logan Paul faced off against KSI in a boxing rematch on November 9th of 2019 at Staples Center in Los Angeles. KSI narrowly be defeated Paul in the match and said he didn't have any plans for a third fight. With the previous boxing match ending in a draw, the two YouTubers faced off for a second bout on November 9th at Staples Center, this time without headgear. The judges awarded the victory to KSI, but it was close. Two judges, vo two judges voted in favor of KSI and a third judge voted in favor of Paul. So really like where we're at and now, obviously guys, the, you know, the newest development is that K uh, Logan Paul may be fighting Antonio Brown. And that's something that we'll have to kind of keep an eye on. But look guys, what happened to Logan? Logan was and is to this day, a YouTuber, right? A guy who, you know, was just, just continuing to climb, right? As far as the ranks go on YouTube made some terrible decisions, and he completely fell off. Um, but at the same time, I give him a lot of props for this, you know, coming back and realizing what he did wrong and what he did right and what he can do different moving forward. And he comes back strong, does these boxing matches that are absolutely, I mean, they're, they're huge. They're like spectacles, right? And then on top of that, doing his impulsive podcast, which is one, you know, awards and it's absolutely crazy how big of a star himself and even KSI and Jake Paul are at this point. So what does he got to do now to move forward here? I think that Logan and Jake will always be controversial, uh, no matter what. They're always going to, there's going to be things that come up. This isn't the last time that we've heard of something coming up with, with Logan um, or with Jake. That's a little bit controversial. Those things will come up at from time to time. But one thing that you cannot take away from them is their work ethic and just, I mean, you obviously how hard these guys work at building their brands, whether it was on Vine or whether it was on YouTube, uh, wherever it is, they seem to just bring a massive, you know, almost cult following with them. And I, you got to respect them for that. And that's uh, just a, a great work ethic. I mean, there's no debate about it. They've got great work ethic. And I think the future shows possibly them continuing the boxing, you know, being in the boxing ring. Uh, also, probably, you know, continuing uh, Jay, uh, Logan's podcast, Impulsive, is something that will, he will probably continue to do. As far as doing the daily vlog, which he ended a while ago, I would say he's probably not going to go back to the vlog anytime soon. But at the same time, it's hard to tell. We never know where they're going to go. But nonetheless, you have to respect the work ethic and, you know, you got to respect, you know, the person who they are, um, you know, and what they're trying to do. But obviously you have to, you know, tread a very, you know, fine line here when it comes to some of the things that they've done in the past, which have been very, you know, uh, controversial to say the least. And so I hope for the sake of YouTube, the sake of just, you know, uh, entertainment from an entertainment standpoint, I hope Jake and Logan 
Don't really get into much controversial stuff moving forward. That would be awesome because I, I I enjoy watching them, um, and I think that they are uh, you know very entertaining as far as you know from a you know I mean just from boxing and even just you know from doing the impulsive podcast and things of that nature. I'd love to see it continue. I hope for the best, and I want to pass it on to you guys. What do you guys think about Logan Paul and? Where do you guys think that, you know, things really went wrong for him? Was it when he went in the suicide force or was it, you know, before that? What do you guys think and where do you think they are trending right now? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below.